I've heard things, Podo. Dark things. Straight off the cliff, a lot of them. Grandpa. I always such a fun time when it comes to the premiere because that means, especially for animated work, that you're getting to see your voice attached finally to the character. Talk for the to me first a little bit time, about yeah, getting, yeah. getting to see that. Well, it makes me the most excited person here because I can't wait to see what they did with all that work that we that we did. I, and I did the work all over the world because I was traveling, so they were finding me studios here, there. I did some of it at home. So it's really interesting to see what will come of it all. When you do voiceover work, do you look at the character and then decide what voice? Do you say, this this guy's me, I want to use my own voice? How does it look when you're finding the right tone for him? Well, you usually get a fair idea when you read it. Um, but then when you go into record and they start showing you some of the uh, preliminary images, that's the next level, really. And then, uh, just before you start, I, I try a little bit out and so think, does that sound good? Maybe record a little bit and go... Oh, that, that seems like that could be that face I saw yesterday. Yeah. The, the, it comes from a beloved book series, Wing yes. Feather Saga. Were you familiar with it? Did you get introduced to it Not with the all. project? No. Not at all. Um, I didn't know about it uh, until I started doing it, and I, it was explained to me what the, the story was, uh, the backstory was to all of this, yeah. Well, I love the genre that it's, you know, fantasy and you've got, you know, all that aspect to it. You know a thing or two about series and successful franchises, yes. Pirates of the Caribbean, that yes. being seen. This will be turned into a series. Talk to me about what it means for, for audiences to be able to spend so much time with characters and develop with them rather than just a one, two hour shot. Well, I think that's what television nowadays does best, isn't it? You can binge on the things that you love and you can watch them all in one go or spread them out. You can really decide how you're going to do it. But I really like modern, uh, long, long-term storytelling of one story. I like that. Back when I started in television, things were like, we'll invent some characters and they can do something different every week. But now, television in particular is telling those long-form stories that film used to do. And I think they've rather surpassed film in a way. When you, what excites you now as an artist when it comes to selecting projects? I gotta imagine you have your pick of the litter. What is it that you'll say, yeah, I wanna be part of that? Um, uh, what excites me most is the fact that that still happens to me, you know? But I definitely, um, I definitely look to, I mean, I can like a project, but I often say, you know, I'm not the man for this, or I can think of five other people who'd be better at it. So it really is the part. It's the part and the writing that's the most important thing for me. 